Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the Hooke's law and Young modulus. We discuss stresses, strains, types of stresses and types of strain in our last lecture. So we are going to discuss today Hooke's law and Young modulus with an example. So example will help us to easily understand the Hooke's law and the Young modulus. Now we we let's suppose we take this is in the object or in the body and we applied here is a and we applied in the load on this object for example the load is if the force is if on this object in this direction is a tension force so because of this tension force the body will try to deform its shape and let's suppose we draw its new shape and it looks like this because of the load what will happen it will basically be like this because of the application of load because it's a tension load so it will increase and change in its dimension so now due to this applied load if there will be some stresses created inside this object to resist this deformation so we can say that stresses will be created inside this object which will be equal to the force per unit area so force is the load which is here in dividing by the area which is the cross-sectional area here of this object so due to this stresses inside the object there will be also some strain produced inside this object which will be equal to the change in length divided by the original length it means there will be tensile this is tensile stress and there will be tensile strain produced inside this object so now change in length is basically it will be extended its length you see here change in length we divided by its original length which is l so we will get some tensile stresses created inside this object so now hooke's law state that when your stress if i represent the stress by sigma when your stress when your stress is directly proportional to the strain then it means this is a hooke law region for example if this i a plot x on y axis stresses and on x axis strain so when i applied the load force and i increase the load force there is a straight region where the stresses in the object is directly proportional to the strain in an object so this straight line shows that this is a hook law region so in this region the hook law is applicable in this region the hook law is applicable so we call it hook hooks law region or hooks region simply while well, after this if i apply the more load there might be that the deformation is more so here the hook law is not applicable because the stresses is not directly proportional to the strain so this region is non hooks region so in the region where the stress is directly proportional to the strain here the hooks law is applicable now if i remove this proportionality sign so it will be with a constant in this constant i call it for example and this constant will be equal to the e now this e is known as young modulus this e is known as young's modulus or or elastic modulus of a material so if i change it so e can be written as e will be equal to the stress divided by strain if i re rearrange this thing so the stress divided by strain stress divided by strain is the elastic modulus or the young modulus where the hooke's law states that when a stress is applied on an object and it increases the strain in the object in the same way as the stress so this is known as the hooke's law and for this we replace the constant proportional design with elastic modulus so now this can be written is in the form of the hooke's law this when stress is directly proportional to the strain so when this principle applies in a material or in any object so your hooke's law is applicable in this region so hope you guys understand in today lecture uh, regarding the hooke's law and the about the young modulus and in our next lecture we will discuss more in detail in the strength of mechanics topics so hope you guys understand today topic and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.